Well, we might be here in Madeira for the fabulous fishing, but most visitors to the island, when they come here, visit this beautiful spot. It's the Botanical Gardens. And from here, there's a spectacular view all the way down the valley there into the capital, Funchal. It really is a beautiful spot. But I think probably the most stunning plant here of all, my favourite in fact, is this one. I think it's called the Bird of Paradise flower. Look at that. But as glorious as these plants are, that's where our fortunes lie, out there in the deep blue waters of the Atlantic. Well, before we go offshore, my old pal Roddy Hayes, whose boat Anguilla we're going to be fishing from, has brought me along to the local fish market. I'll tell you what, Roddy, there's a lot of stuff here, isn't it? But it mainly appears to be tuna. It's nearly all tuna, apart from some scabbard fish and uh, a lot of bait. Yeah, what species are they? Well, the tuna are all big eye. All big eye this time yeah. of year. Well, they all come in this month, are they April? They run from January till May normally. So right in the middle of the season here. Yeah. Come on, let's go and have a look at the fish. Well, we've caught enough of these congas over the years, haven't we? Small, innit? <laughs> I'll, go, Chef. I'll tell you what, it's nice to see a lot of fresh bait here. Like lovely little squids, aren't they? Lovely. Oh, these are pretty. What are these? They're called uh, Alfonso. They come from very, very deep water. You can see by the eye there. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I've never eaten them, but uh, apparently they're nice. Oh, it's lovely beautiful. Lovely colour. Yeah. Oh, look, they've got enormous mouths too. Lovely fish, aren't they? Beautiful looking. Look at the size of that mouth, Roddy. It's got bait inside it. It's like on uh, John Dory, almost. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Very expandable. Very, very look at that. Still got the bait in them as well. <laughs> well, Roddy, are these these scabbard fish you've been telling me about? Look at that. Look at those teeth. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You wouldn't like to be a squid going in there, uh, would you? No, thank That's you. For sure. Oh, what sort of depths do they live at with those eyes? They catch them at a thousand meters, fifteen hundred meters. Do they really? Oh, they're fantastic. Goodies, no hydraulics, nothing. I used to catch a very similar fish to this in Australia called a hair tail, but I, it was silver. It wasn't black like that. That is incredible. You've got big eyes as well. They taste nice. I'll have some of that for supper probably. <laughs> I don't know whether I really want to eat one. No. But it's nice. It's nice. Your boat Anguilla is certainly well rigged out, Roddy. What have we got on these uh, reels? We've got 80 pound line on those, uh, 130 on the two side ones, and 50 on the middle one. Is that not a bit heavy, 130? Well, if we're going to try and tag some tuna, we really want them to have some energy in, in them when they go back. So bring them to the boat quickly with the heavier gear. Right. And uh, as you can see, these are the lures we're using. That's a single lure. We use a bit of lead in them because big eyes tend to push them out of the way when they attack, and they've got a big nose. Right. And uh, down here, we've got some variations for instance that's a tandem lure that's five small squids in a row and somewhere in there is one with a hook on it which so is you've got one. very strong hooks as well and you obviously you need them to fish this this little power range they're big fish they're big fish yeah. this is a what's called a bird it's a small mini bird what's this and a teaser up the front that's there? a teaser yeah. yeah it splashes a lot of water on the surface and the tuna normally come up and attack the lure behind it the swimming lure right and um, what's what's this in here that. <laughs> that's a bigger bird. Well, that's another teaser. Yeah. Well, we string weird, that isn't it? behind the boat. It's like a, a chain of squids, isn't it? That's what it's called. It's called a daisy chain. Yeah. And we get those behind the boat. That on the end makes a lot of water. And this hopefully brings up the tuna. Sure. Right. You see fish attack 10, 20 feet behind the boat. Sure. Well, I'll tell you what, I just hope the wind drops by tomorrow morning anyway. What time are we getting up? Oh, uh, we want to get out there just after first light. So, early breakfast and out. <laughs> Quarter to eight in the morning and we're about two miles off from Charles. There's a fair old swell going and the sun's just coming up in the 
the east here. Roddy, why are we going east instead of west where the other boats are going? Um, there hasn't been a lot of fish caught over the last three days, so we'll pop down this way where there's no other boats, have a look. It's going to be a bit calmer as well, isn't it? It's going to be a lot easier going <laughs> down here than punching up into uh, the water back up to the stern of us, right. where the big boats have gone. What are, we looked at, what are we looking for this, this time in the morning? Birds mainly? Birds, oil slicks from bait, anything like that. But with the, with the light as it is, we should see some birds, hopefully, in the distance. We could, of course, get a strike any time. We don't need birds. Tina will come up to the boat. The boat will raise fish. And we could be having coffee in the next minute. All seven rods will go, but... Uh, <laughs> or we could be out here for six hours. <laughs> That's the thing about trolling, isn't it? It's a wait and see job. Mostly shearwaters is what we look for, although uh, there are some seagulls. Earlier in the season, the seagulls are much better to follow because they've got a bit more intelligence than the shearwaters. The shearwaters tend to rely on instinct. But now, this time of year, the shearwaters have uh, young in the nest and they have to find food and therefore they're a much better bet normally. Of course, to the uninitiated, uh, it seems that trolling is just a, hit, a real hit and miss affair. They don't realise you're looking for birds and all these other little pointers to put you onto fish, do they? There's 101 factors to think of. There's boat seed, boat speed, there's lures, colour of lures, size of lures, uh, the direction the fish are travelling and the way you present the lures to them. Rather like uh, running a plug past a pipe in right. a river, for instance, you've got to make sure the lures run across the fish's noses against their tails. And you've got to find the fish. And in a big ocean, that's that's a long job sometimes. But it certainly makes you realise how big it is when, you, when you're out here, doesn't it? See, for miles and miles and miles. Although it's nice to have uh, the island of Madeira there to look at all day as well, isn't it? It's very pretty. Even though it's covered in <laughs> fog at the moment. <laughs> There's a wee bit of rain there. A wee bit of rain. Oh, well, we've already seen quite a few dolphins. Roddy, do you get lots of different species off Madeira? We get common dolphins and shortfin pilot whales or longfin pilot whales. They're difficult to tell in the field. And the bottlenose dolphins. Well, apart from the dolphin fish, what's always confused me is the difference between porpoises and dolphins. How do you mm. tell? Porpoises are a coastal species normally. There's, I'm not sure exactly, there's just seven or eight species throughout the world. And in European waters, the most common one is the common porpoise, which is a coastal species. It's an estuarine fish, whereas dolphins are nearly all beaked. If you see an animal in the water that has a long beak, it's nearly always a dolphin. Right. A porpoise just has a normal mouth right. and doesn't... It's a much quieter species. It doesn't jump, it doesn't roll or anything like that. Right. Nearly so much as a dolphin. And you're always going to find them in the estuaries and not out in open sea? Very, very rare to find them out in the open sea. You'll get porpoises in the English Channel. Right. But out here in the mid-Atlantic, there's no porpoises here. The nearest porpoises will be the coast of uh, Africa, in fact. Well, that was a wise decision turning around and heading west, Roddy. The sea's much flatter up this end of the island, isn't it? What, Roddy? We're pulling these lures at a fair old lick, aren't we? What speed are we doing, do you reckon? We'll be pulling these between seven and eight knots, I suppose. That's a, a fair old speed, isn't it? Yeah. They've I... got to be fast fish tuners to catch those, haven't they? One of the nice things, of course, of trolling in the blue oceans is even though the tuna aren't hitting at the moment, we've got something to watch and we've got about a dozen common dolphins here. They're so comical, they're, they've been following us for about ten minutes right in the front of the boat here. Well, absolutely spectacular. There's about still six here now. <laughs> and every now and again they'll go forwards and one will turn up and look at you. One's just broken water there. They're lovely creatures. The speed at which they're going in front of the boat is incredible. This is just as though they're just playing with us. It's beautiful. Hey, 
Bit of his tail, seven! Oh, we got five going! Got him! Bloody look, at them, look at them behind us, a fish on this! This is ridiculous! Twelve! Find Pesaki! <laughs> Woo! What are these? Get this one in, get this one in for this one. Out of the way. Okay. <laughs> We've got a big problem here, John. Mind your feet. Okay. <laughs> I just hope something doesn't grab this. Dear God. Come no. out. Right, you got that in? No, hang on. Keep it going ahead, Joao. A friend and book it. Bye bye. Right, good. Okay. <laughs> Why is a friend, a friend, a friend? This is absolutely crackers, isn't it? Do you want to start getting some of these in or what? So we're going to go for the heaviest first. Get that fish in. Oh, my grand problem, Mikey. Okay, Chip. Oh, Mikey, that's not going to work. Okay. Now, John, pay attention and look where the lines are, okay? Yeah, I can see it. Because what you've got here is a tangle already. Where, where are we? With this one. Oh. <laughs> sure, they don't half go, Roddy, don't they? You coming over, mate? I think so. Okay. Have a look. Yep, yep you, okay. go under, mate. Under, under, right. you go under me. Let me come under. Right. You go under. Go under. Okay. Sure, they don't have to go, in don't the holder. Now, I've got to keep the boat going ahead while you get the heavy guys in. Now, come on, John, don't just stand Listen, there. This one something. isn't coming at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joao, oh. come on. <laughs> Here we are, for an hour upon hour upon hour, nothing, and then what do we get? Six all at once, it's absolutely, it's absolutely Tom ludicrous, Tom this. The power of them is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, John, oh, starting to move a bit on this one. Yes, come on. Whoa. We're still connected on that one. Step okay. Over that. Step over that. Right. <laughs> you all right, Johnny? Yeah. Hang on, we're over this one. Where are we this one? Uh, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone. No, we're not. We're on. We're on. Which way do we. Oh, you want to go? Okay, right. <laughs> no, I'm just keeping pressure on with the boat, you see. Okay. okay. Right, we got one here. <sighs> so it's, it's going. There's no, no, no point in sure. hurrying these, is there? No, we're okay, all the real ones. Oh, <laughs> no, no real half full. The next Look. one's going to be that one there, okay? As well, forget to rewind, forget chef. I don't know whether to give this a bit more teddy or not. Do I give Do I give this a bit more teddy or not? Hey? No, you wouldn't want to go over him. Uh, you've got to go over him. Okay. He's got to come under. <laughs> hey! Up at heel. The wine is better, better, better. Na poche, the scoop. Wow. No fish. The power of this it's is it's absolutely incredible. It's got barrel. I just can't really make anything on this for the time being. See? These are good fish, Roddy. They're good okay. fish. Okay. What we're going to do, John, is <laughs> yeah. we're going to mate you. It's going to fish. If we if we hook this first fish up and mark right. him, he'll go to the bottom, and that'll be the end of his fishing. Okay. So the first fish we're going to bring in for tea. Right. Okay. See, premier fish dentro. What size is that one, Roddy? Huh? Oh, there we are. Oh. Ah. Uh. Right, Roddy, what's this boat doing coming in close to us now? He's just going to throw some bait in the water. Hopefully we've kept these fish with us all the time. Why, why are they sprinkling that water in the water, Roddy? That's to excite the fish. Oh, I said, what, it keeps them close to the boat? 
Yeah, well, it sounds like bait fish hitting the surface of the water. Right. And, and what, at the, and the same time, it also masks the fishermen. And what do they do then? Chat live bait in and hook them out. No matter, vamos! No, no. <laughs> oh. Come on, John. <laughs> that fish I lost took too much out of me, I tell you. I thought you said you were fit. Well, I am. But I don't no, know I whether should... I'm ready for chat fishing. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going to mark this one, John. Tag him. Okay, let's have a look. Yep. What Good size ball. is that fish, Ruddy? 60, 70 pound. It's a nice fish, isn't it? Aren't they beautiful colours when they come in? Oh, I'm going to put this Absolutely mark. Absolutely beautiful. Let's target now. He's tagged. Whoa, well done. See? There he goes. I've had to cut the hook out of him, but he'll be all right. It's not a stainless steel, so he's gone with the tag in him. I tell you what, we left that a long time before we started on these, and we're getting that six up, and they're such a long way back. Well, you see, the thing is, you keep the boat going the whole time, and the fish follow the hook fish, and you get more and more takes all the time. The trouble is, with three of us, it's not easy to handle six, is it? Hey. Well, that's so we one still of the got things. one left. Is John on the last one now? Yeah, he's on the last one. It's very good. Right. Excuse me, guys. Let's have a look with the old taggy sticky. Can you just hold yours for a second, John? Yeah, OK. I'll just do uh, yeah, right this first. Is, this is coming. Roddy. Oh, big one. That one's not small. It's the one we voted. See, 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 see. Otro. Sí, ¿cómo estoy? Ok. Well, this this fish is under the boat now, Roddy. It's Hang still on, got an incredible tag. amount of power left in it. It really is. Out. Fantastic fight, this is. This is something else. I haven't seen it yet. I'm looking forward to seeing that blue flash down there. It's coming up now. And we've got uh, 183316 for the next tag. This is uh, John's uh, fish. Giles is dead, we brought it in the boat. Oh, it's going around this side. Is it still going? Yeah, it's Hello. still going. Oh, okay. uh, here it's coming now, it's coming now, it's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that is a good fish too. Oh, incredible amount of power. Hold him there. There it is, look, you can see it just beneath the surf. Lovely colours, Roddy, aren't they? You can see the orange red of the lure there. Beautiful, shimmering blues and silvers. Oh, we've got the dark, dice. dark colour on its back there. Look at that. I'm going to try and bring it up to the surface so we can have a really lovely look at it. Oh, it's still got a lot left though. Beautiful colours. It's going to hit surface in a second. That lovely colour along its back. Oh, that is incredible. It's not as big as I thought. Look at that. Can I stick the tag in? We Beautiful can carry on fish. later. I want to get the tag in before the hook goes. Oh, it doesn't matter then. OK. I'll walk behind you, buddy. Yep. You ready? OK. Got it? Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well, we've tagged that one. Oh, he's not going to go. We'll have to... Uh, well, kind of... Go on, Sonny. Oh, there he's he okay. goes. Yeah, oh, he's look okay. at those colours. Whew. That's your first tag fish. <laughs> Don't let the lure go. <laughs> well done, John. Well, that was terrific, Roddy. That was something else. There's still two more for you. You are kidding. It's nice to tag three, three big eyes like that and they'll be worth... Well, we've got enough to eat already. This fish is yep. starting to sound more. That's all right. He would do. Look what the bottlenose are. Hey, those, they're close, aren't they, those dolphins? Very close. Very close. Yeah, he's two. Oh, no, no. Still one or two dolphins around, Roddy. Oh, look yep. at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, oh, look that, at them actually jumping there. Do you know, that is such an unbelievable sight, isn't it? That is incredible. 
Ronnie, what sort of dolphins are those? These Bottle are all uh, bottlenose dolphins, yeah. yeah. What do they weigh a piece? They're they big animals. They look big, don't they? What, Four, five, five, six hundred pounds. Are they really? Yeah. <sighs> well, <laughs> we've nearly got the last tuna up to the boat now. Having played, what have I played? Two and a half of these? That's quite enough for the next two days, Roddy, thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's get a tag in him anyway, John, shall we? Yep. Before he goes. And then uh, if he comes off, it doesn't matter, you see? Okay, he's coming now. Yeah. Bookie the French, oh. He's coming round this side, Roddy. That John that's, as well. a, that's a bit that's the biggest one of the lot, isn't it? I would think so, yeah. What's, what size are you around that? Is? 70, 80? 70 or 80, yeah. It's a good fish, isn't it? It's, look at that, that's I don't like the look of that line, Roddy. That's why we use 130 line, you see. I can see it now. Oh, I think I'm gonna need a trip to the doctors in the morning, Roddy. If you um <laughs> go back a bit and I'll look. Okay. Right. Oh, that is a nice fish, Roddy. Look at the size of that. That's a nice fish. Oh, job. that's a good 80, isn't it? That's a good fish. Good fish. Look at oh, that. the other one. I want the tag pole. <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. Oh, look at that. Nope. Nope. Got him. He's in. Well done. Our friendship. You just have to grab the lure in a minute, all right? Okay. Give us the lure. Right. Oh, no, no, it's gone down. Okay. And. Uh, Goodbye, Wait, where he goes. Oh, that, that was a nice no, no. fish, that one. Really. I got a commission. To, to nice watch. fish. Hey, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> two fish. <laughs> That's a big fish, too. 80 pound <laughs> on. That was great. Whew. You're right about these tuna, you know. I don't oh, think tuna. I want any more today, do you? I think I'm out of condition. Well, we've tagged four, lost one, and decided to keep one to eat. Roddy, they're beautiful fish, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. How do you know this is a big eye compared to all other tuners? Right, um, contrary to what the name implies, a big eye, it doesn't actually have a massive eye compared to other tuners. The easiest way to distinguish it is very simple. An albacore would have a very long petrol fin back to here. Right. And it would have a white trailing edge to the tail. Mm -hmm. A bluefin's petrol fin would end normally there, much, much very, smaller then. Very small one. Yeah, yeah. And a yellow fin, which is the other species we'd get here, the anal fin there. They're yellowy, aren't would they? Would be yellowy totally yellow. Yeah, I've caught those with small ones before, and uh, that's the only one I would recognise as being different. They'd be much longer as well than a fish yeah. this size on the yeah. yellow fin. Yeah, they're lovely fish. I'll tell you what, what um, I found strange on that last big one I caught, that line being shredded. How do you think that happened? We had so many fish behind the boat, maybe two, three hundred fish. Chasing as all as the that? lines. Really? Oh, quite likely. And what happened was, <laughs> on the line and lure here, a fish probably grew, tried to grab hold of that swivel. And as the other fish took the lure, it just slid the line all the way down through its mouth. Oh, we was lucky to land that, weren't we? Really lucky. Very. <laughs> That's great. Well, thanks for some fabulous fishing here in Madeira, Roddy. And those tuna, you know, they really did fight every bit as hard as you said they would. It's nice, isn't it, to show the tuna as a hard-fighting sports fish and not just another meal in a can. In fact, I'm sure there's lots of people watching the programme right now who never really knew what the creature looked like. You know, they just thought of it as a meal. Yeah. What uh, we must remember is that those tuna we caught were actually quite small as well. Big eyes grow a lot bigger. They go to 400 pounds and we get bluefins here and they'll go 12, 1300 pounds sometimes. Oh, that's colossal, isn't it? Absolutely colossal. Are there any other sorts of tunas apart from the little skipjacks that you've, you've well, shown me? Well, skipjacks are what, we, what people normally eat in the cans, as it were, but in summer we get yellowfin here too. They can grow big to 250, but they're not normally that size. And if you'd like to fish in Madeira and waters on board Anguilla, there are regular scheduled and charter flights from most British airports. So all you need is a ticket. I'll tell you what, Roddy, I think next time.